Imagine running your favorite Windows applications and drivers in an open source environment that you can trust. That is what React OS promises. On today's video, we're going to install React OS. Step one will be screenshots showing how to obtain React OS. Step two will be screenshots of setting up VirtualBox. Of course, you can also install this on a real computer. Uh, the process is pretty much the same. Step three will actually have the video of installing the operating system. To obtain React OS, simply go to their website. It's a free download. So on their website, click on download it in the top right corner. Then in the middle of the screen, click on download boot CD. Uh, you have the option of giving a donation or in the bottom right of that, you can click on no thanks. Uh, let's proceed with the download. And that brings you to the SourceForge page that actually contains the download and your download will start shortly. Simply save the file in a uh, convenient place and you've got the download. Start by opening up VirtualBox and clicking on New in the top left corner. You can give your virtual machine the name, select Other for the type, and version Other slash Unknown. Uh, for memory size, they actually only asked for 96 megabytes of RAM, but I gave it 1 gigabyte or 10, 24 megabytes uh, just because there were problems running it with lower memory. Uh, for the hard disk, we'll just accept the defaults here, here, and here. For the drive size, now they recommend a minimum of 500 megabytes. I found uh, the install actually crashed if you gave it that small a drive. Um, so I went with 16 gigabytes, very generous, but uh, I want to make sure it works. So now we uh, select our new machine and click on settings. We want to go to the system tab and under acceleration, uh, make sure that enable VTX and AMD V is not selected. Uh, we go to the storage tab and uh, select the optical drive, which is currently empty, and click on the little CD icon in the top right corner. Then we select uh, the ISO image that you downloaded in the previous steps. And then under the network tab, select bridge adapter. And then we're ready to go, so simply click start. We are now booting from the install CD. So the first thing we have to do is choose our language and our country. So I'm going to choose English Canada. Hit enter and we're going to hit enter again to say we want to install it. Now it gives us a little warning that it's still in the alpha stage of development, but that's okay. We'll hit enter to continue and we'll accept the default device settings. Now we're going to install it on the unpartitioned space. So we'll just hit enter. And we have to choose whether we want it uh, formatted with FAT or with BTRFS. I chose FAT because BTRFS didn't work for me for some reason. Now we're just going to hit enter to format. Now we need to choose a directory in which to install it. So we'll just accept the default to hit enter. And it's copying files. And there we go, we're done. Now we want to in install the bootloader, of course, uh, so we'll just hit enter. Now here, it's important you take out your uh, CD, otherwise it'll boot to the install CD again. And here we go, we're now booting off the hard drive into React OS. You can either hit enter or be patiently wait for the countdown. And now we see their graphical logo, so that's a good sign that things are going well. And here we have the uh, installing of the devices. And welcome to the setup wizard. So we'll just click next. Here it gives uh, some acknowledgements to some of the open source projects that were used in uh, creating React OS. So we'll just click next. We'll accept the defaults here. Click next. So here we type in our name and our organization. I'll just keep it with owner. And for password, I'm going to use the ever secure password of password. Um, and it actually does accept that. So we click next and check the date and time. Now the time zone is wrong, so I'll just fix that. Mountain time. 
and next. And we'll choose the classic theme. And we'll choose typical settings. And it's not going to be part of a domain, so we'll just uh, accept that. Click Next. And it's uh, done the setup wizard. So now we're just going to click Finish. And also ensure there's no CD in the drive. We already took it out earlier, so it shouldn't be a problem. But just always remember not to boot from that, that CD because it is the installer. So we're rebooting, choose React OS. We see their logo once again. Verifying the file system again. And now here we are. Uh, we actually see the uh, desktop for the first time. So there's a few bugs in this uh, still. And for me, it uh, gives these two failed devices, uh, one the system device and one the uh, um, audio device. That's okay, I'll just ignore that. So the first thing I want to do now that we're in is to open the Applications Manager and install a web browser uh, so that I can show you that we are actually you know, able to connect to the rest of the world. Um, so we'll just Internet and Network and scroll down to Mozilla Firefox. There we go. And you'll notice there are checkboxes, so you can actually check a whole bunch of different packages if you'd like. Uh, but I'm just going to do Firefox for now, and I'll click on Install. And it's downloading it. So I really like this application uh, manager. It's similar to what you see in many Linux distributions. I find it very convenient. You don't have to go looking for install files all over the place. So we're going to just choose a standard install. And yes, we'll make it the default web browser. So just continue. And yes, we want to launch Firefox now. So here we go. Launching ever so patiently. And we're not going to import anything. There isn't anything to import at this point anyway. And here we have uh, the very first running of Firefox with three different tabs. So I'll just close those two. And I'll just uh, select here and then yeah, I'll just ignore that, that Firefox is out of date. We can update that later. I'll just go to Google. And of course, uh, you would expect this to work properly because this is a, a modern operating system. It's not a vintage one that I, which I usually play around with. Um, and it did load Google just fine. And now we're going to try the most important website, uh, the website you're probably watching this on, YouTube. So we'll hit enter. And here we go. It's loading. Loading. Come on. Here we go. And here we have YouTube. And yeah, I'm very satisfied with all of my videos. Thank you very much. I'll just scroll down and show you more of the page. There we go. So let's uh, close out of this. Now also uh, in the application uh, manager, there's uh, the LibreOffice, which is the office suite that I use on my Linux computers. I find it very reliable and it seems to work well with documents created in Microsoft Office. There's also OpenOffice for those of you who would prefer that. And yeah, there's just a ton of apps that you can install, uh, but that's basically what I wanted to show you. So we've got it up and running and uh, connected to the internet. So I'll just do a shutdown and away it goes. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please click sub subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Thank you so much.